Welcome everyone. In this video, we will discuss about the cell structure and functions in detail. So let's begin. The first thing came in our mind after listening cell is that it is the basic structural and functional unit of a cellular organism. Why we call them the basic unit? Because a cell can make tissue, tissue can make organ, an organ can make an organ system. And that make a whole organism. So that's why we call a cell as the basic unit of an organism. Now what is cellular organisms? The organisms which are made up of cell are called cellular organisms. Now the cellular organism can be unicellular or multicellular. Unicellular are those which are made up of one cell and they are simple organism and perform all function in just a single cell. These are the properties of a unicellular organism. Now, multicellular are those which are made up of more than one cell and that's why we call them as a multicellular organism. They have a complex organisms. They have specific function for a specific cell. That means a single cell will perform a particular function and the different cell will perform a different function. So they have a specific cell for a specific function, not like the unicellular organism, just a single cell perform all the functions. If we look at the basic structure of a cell, it have a cell wall, cell membrane, cytoplasm, nucleus, nucleolus, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus, mitochondria, lysosomes are all present in the cell. Now let's look at them in more detail. Cell membrane is the external boundary of a cell and also called as the plasma membrane. If we zoom at the cell structure, cell membrane are composed of proteins as well as lipids. Cell membrane is a lipid bilayer membrane. Cell membrane are selectively permeable membrane that means it will only give permission to the selective molecules that's why called as selective permeable membrane. The function of the cell membrane is to support and to protect the cell from the various external events. Cytoplasm is the gel-like fluid inside the cell. It is composed of water, salts and various organic molecules. It is located between the cell membrane and the nucleus. It provides the platform upon which other organelles can operate within the cell. Now this cytoplasm is further distinguished into two parts. First is cytosol which is a aqueous portion in the cytoplasm. It is a colloidal organic fluid or also called as matrix. The other part is a cytoplasmic structure which consists of non-living and living structure. Now this living structure is known as cytoplasmic organelles and that non-living structures of the cytoplasmic structure are known as inclusions. Nucleus is a double membrane organelle. It contains the genetic material and the instructions required for cellular process. Inside the nucleus, nucleus is present. The function of nucleus is to produce and to assemble the cell's ribosomes. Endoplasmic reticulum is an extension network of membrane limited channels. It is the largest organelle of most eukaryotic cells. It is present in all eukaryotic cells except sperm and red blood cells. Functions of endoplasmic reticulums are they are responsible for metabolism of carbohydrates, responsible for production and secretion of steroid hormones, responsible for the synthesis of essential lipids such as phospholipids and cholesterol. Endoplasmic reticulum store and release calcium ion which are necessary for the nervous system and muscular system. Endoplasmic reticulum is of two types. First, smooth endoplasmic reticulum and the second, rough endoplasmic reticulum. In smooth endoplasmic reticulum, ribosomes are absent and in rough endoplasmic reticulum, ribosomes are embedded within its structure. 
द बेसिक फंक्शन ऑफ स्मूथ एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम आर कार्बोहाइड्रेट मेटाबॉलिज लिपिड सिंथेसिस प्रोडक्शन एंड सिक्रेशन ऑफ स्टेरॉयड हॉर्मोन्स स्टोर एंड रिलीज ऑफ कैल्शियम आयंस इट सिंथेसाइज एंड सिक्रेट प्रोटीन्स इन दीवर हॉर्मोन एंड अदर सब्सटेंस इन दी ग्लैंड बेसिक फंक्शन ऑफ रफ एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम आर प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस प्रोटीन शॉर्टिंग प्रोटीन फोल्डिंग नाउ द प्रोडक्ट फॉर्म बाय रफ एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम आर ऑल्सो ट्रांसपोर्टेड बाय द स्मूथ एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम टू द गोल्जी अपैरेटस अपैरेटस इज ए कप शेप्ड ऑर्गनल व्हिच इज लोकेटेड नियर द न्यूक्लियस कैमेलो गोल्जी डिस्कवर्ड द गोल्जी अपैरेटस गोल्जी अपैरेटस इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज गोल्जी बॉडी इट इज प्रेजेंट इन द यूकैरियोटिक सेल्स गोल्जी बॉडी appears as a series of stacked membranes it is a membrane bound organelle present in the cytosol of a cell function of golgi apparatus are packaging and secretion of proteins lysosome formation transport of lipids enzymatic activity and post translation modification mitochondria is a double membrane bound organelle it is also called as the powerhouse of the cell it produce atp molecules if we look at the structure of mitochondria it have outer membrane inner membrane intermembrane space and the matrix lysosome is a membrane bound cell organelle present in the eukaryotic cell it is also called as the suicide bag of the cell because it contains digestive enzyme which can do autolysis they are spear shaped sac filled with the hydrolytic enzyme that have the capability to break down many type of molecules thank you for watching for more videos you can like and subscribe to my youtube channel